it's a range come here, and today we are looking at Dragon's Dogma. Well, we're not really, but I've been playing this a lot recently, so I figured I'd do a video on it. This is not like a quick look at or a video on. This is just a little quick thing I'm going to do in it right now. Um, and what we're doing is we're hunting a wyvern. Yes, this is in the post game. So in the story you fight this big red dragon that steals your heart in the beginning, right? And you kill him and spoilerish stuff happens at the end of the when you kill him because you know, it's kind of obvious that you will. He is the kind of main boss. So stuff has happened and there's maybe a little bit of spoilers, but I'll try not to. But yeah. What I'm going to do is hunt a wyvern that's supposedly up here in Blue Moon Tower. Hang on, I'll show you the map in a second. Uh, right. There we are. This area down here. Uh, this is my character. Her name is Arranged Calm. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, my vocation is Assassin, which I think is probably the best in the game. Got my Pawn, Carmet, this is my main one, and two ones from other players who actually play the game, Matthias and Ico. So, if any... If either of you two are watching this, the people that made those pawns, congratulations. So yeah, hunting a wyvern now. Which is no easy feat, because dragons aren't exactly easily taken down. Trust me, I know. I've defeated a few of them already. If you want some proof, there's a... that one. This one, a drake's to... killed a drake, so, you know. Also, I killed the big red dragon. Whose name is Grigori, by the way. Ow. Try that again, I dare ya. There we go. Oh yeah. Boom. This way! Ooh, what's that? Hot spot juice. Cool. So yeah, Wyvern. This should be fun. And interesting. And I hope it'll be interesting. Because this is my pawns I've got here are pretty high level, as am I, as you probably saw in the status screen. Actually, here it is again. There it is on the left. And this is post game, so I we have pretty strong gear, we're pretty knowledgeable, and we know what we're doing. So hopefully it should go well, but who knows, right? Ooh. Harpies and skeletons. Oh god. Oh boy. Ow. Right, where's that skeleton? It's casting those spells. I hear him. Oh, there they are. Boom. Right. Before we head up there, because just around that corner, like literally dead ahead of me, is the uh, the thing we are of which we are hunting. Let's heal up a little bit. Let's give Matthias this. It's a healing item, if you don't know. Because he might need it soon. Ooh, hear that? Here we go. Oh boy. Surprise! Ooh, this one's a lightning one. So, I know how to hunt wyverns. Oh, well, let's kill this harpy. Yeah, so basically to hunt a wyvern, or any kind of dragon... Has he run off or something? Oh no, he's back up above me. I'd recommend going something with a bow. Any kind of class that has a bow, or magic, I guess, since it has range. Is he dead? What the fuck just... <laughs> okay, it's not dead, okay, cool. <laughs> I want to grab the loot that it drops, so I'd much appreciate it if you came back down to land. Right, I'll show you how to do this if it lands. Has it run off? Oh, okay, it's coming back now. Hello! So the first thing you want to do is look for its heart. I believe on a wyvern, which is this kind of beast, it's on the back. As you saw, so the first thing we got to do is kill that snow harpy. These snow harpies, I guess. The last thing we want is some interruption. Uh, right. Oh, hello. Get away. 
We've got to knock this thing down. Right. There, you see that on its back? Get on it. Tear it apart. Look at the health bar right now. Oh boy, no stamina. Oh. So, with the Wyvern, I guess if it keeps flying about, you gotta, and with any dragon really, you gotta keep knocking it down. You can't do anything in the air, especially if you're a melee class. Weak point is the head, and maybe the wings, I'm not sure though. But just aim for the head, because that's the point that does the... I know that does damage. Once it's flown away like this, I suppose you just got to keep it in your sights, see what happens. Yeah. Right. Oh boy. Nice shot. I think that was Ico. Right. Come on, hold on! Come on, hold on! Oh yeah, it's the trench battle. This is uh, I'm recording this just before the trench battle on a Monday, so... Well, let's get Liquid Vim. This, uh, this prevents my stamina from draining for a limited time. Which is good, which means I can infinitely do this! Come on, stop fucking shaking about. You aren't throwing me off, dude. Nice shot, Ico. It's just getting torn to pieces. Screw you! <laughs> You're done. You're dead. It's over. Ah, oh, my hand! Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. Whew. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you hunt a wyvern in Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Oh, yeah. There's my wyvern's tear that I was hoping for. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There was another thing that was over here, I think. Was it? Oh, it's a dragon horn, okay. A little fun fact, that little roar that knocked out all my pawns, that only happens when you knock a horn off its head, and then it will, you know, because it gets pissed. Same with most of the monsters. Um, yeah, I think what happens is, if you hold a wyvern, a, a wyvern, or no, a worm, sorry, and a drake's tear at the same time, enemies have a higher chance of dropping rarer loot. Which is why I was hunting this woman. Anyway, this has been Dragon Storm with Dark Arisen, Wyvern Hunting 101. The class, again, I am using is, hang on, Assassin. I'm a level 54. My offenses are this. This is my defenses. These are the skills I use, which is the, um, oh, excuse me, the, if you hold down right bumper and left bumper, you take out your secondary. The skills are down there in the bottom right. And my daggers, I've got Masterful Kill, 100 Kisses and Cutting Wind, and Mighty Bend, Fightful Flurry, and Lissy Insight, I think that is. I can't. Um, what else? And this is my profile. Blah, 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 blah. This is my pawns stuff. She's a warrior. Uh, yeah. Um, what else was I going to show you? Oh, yes, my weapons. Um, my weapons, I've got Dragon's Vein and Dragon's Rancor. Um, these weapons you get from defeating... Uh, Grigori, the big, you know, red dragon that steals your heart at the beginning. Um, if you... It's uh, important to note that when you fight him, if you go in with a with a, with a certain weapons, you'll get like a duplicate, but a dragon version. For, so, for example, if you fight him with daggers and a bow, you'll get a dragon version of daggers and a bow, and this goes for every weapon in the game. So, yeah. So, this has been Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, like I said. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you in some way. You know, gotta get on its back and knock it down and just fuck up its heart, really. That's all you gotta do to hunt a dragon. Um, its health bar is probably the most intimidating thing about dragons because they have so many. But trust me, once you reach like a level 50 or so and um, you get into the post game, which is why this guy is all cloudy and everything, um, you will just 
tear them to pieces and do so magnificently and their stuff is used for making things better or for selling and they go at a very high price. So yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you maybe next time if I remember to upload because I've been this has been taking up pretty much all my time lately because I love this game so much. Hang on. Yeah, so expect a video on this soon maybe. Uh, and yeah, I shall see you what the hell next there we go. Time. Whatever. Whew, next up is probably a worm, if I'm if I remember to call it that. I know where one is and maybe we'll see me fight it and I'll upload that too. Hello everybody, it's a range car here, and welcome back to more Dragon's Dogma. Now here we are in the Water God's altar right here. We're back in the post game, and now it's time to hunt a worm. Another breed of dragon. It should be fun, right? Let's hope so. <clears throat> Let's do this. Instead of showing you just the fight this time, I wanted to show you a bit more of a lead up to in the area that it's in and show you how to do it and stuff and just what it'll be like when you actually get there. And just sort of more explorative, I guess, you know. Some stuff, some bones. Right. Some dosh. Okay. <clears throat> right, we got everything that we probably want in here, so let's head right, right there, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. Forgot about the Saurians in here. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit quiet all week, I just finished an event with the EB, so <laughs> we had a good laugh, so right. let's give this to my pawn and see how it is. It's terrible. Okay, let's just get that. Right. Should be right here, I think. Oh, yep, there it is. You see that? Looks intimidating. Alright, here we go. This one casts spells. There's his heart. See that? Under there. Right there. Ooh, so this one casts lots of spells. Boom! Out. <sighs> Gotta hit that heart. Hmm. So this heart is more down towards like the stomachish area rather than like the chest. <clears throat> so I guess that's cool, I guess. Come on. Get stunned already. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. Nice one! 
Carmette did that. Here we go again! Right, I'm out of stamina. Right. Liquid Vim. Alright. Come on, get the stamina back. Oh, no, don't want to take you. Get over there. God damn it. <laughs> well, I missed that chance. Oh, there's another horn, I think. Yep. Oh well. With this stamina, I'll just keep hitting it then. You're done now. Kaboom! Yeah, it's a worm. Nice. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> that seemed almost too easy. Let's have a look at some of the loot we got, shall we? Anything? Anything else? Nope. So what do we got? We got that. We got a bunch of new stuff. We got some worm tears now. So apparently, um, in a place called the Everfall, which is again a spoiler place that I won't really say anything else about. If you hold all three of these—a Drake's tier, a Worm's tier, and a Wyvern's tier—when um, you kill an enemy in there, they have a higher chance to drop better stuff, which is why I've been collecting them. And because uh, dragons and stuff give you higher XP and give you better rewards and... Um... What else? Oh yeah, when you go to Bitterback, Bitterblack, which is the DLC area from Dark Arisen, you can upgrade... Actually, I'll, have, I'll show you right here. Right, this item has been... What's I think it's called? Dragon Forge, which means you've faced a dragon with it and it's become the best it can be. So it's been upgraded all three times and you don't need to upgrade it. But in Bitterback Isle, Bitterblack, you can... There's a... There's a I think it's a merchant there that um, allows you to upgrade Dragon Forged item into three tiers: red, silver, and gold. And the gold is obviously the best of the best, the very best loot in the entire game. So you know, when we get to Bitter Black, we'll have a look at that. But that won't be for a while, because trust me, as a as a veteran of the Xbox version of this, Bitter Black is hard. I wouldn't go there until you're at least level 100, because seriously, that place is tough. I mean seriously tough. Anyway, so that has been me hunting some Saurians, some skeletons, and of course the worm. So, let me kill this. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. If there are any more big dragon fights, I'll record those too and put them in this one of the videos as well. So, thank you for watching, and if you want to get this game and hunt the dragon, go to post-game when you beat the big red and head to this area and you'll find a worm. And if you want to fight the wyvern, go over here and you'll fight it on the top there. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. We got another one. <laughs> I think this is a wyvern. Yep. Yep. Nope. Right. Come on. All right. Okay. There we go. Boom. Let's get some liquid vim up in here, shall we? Oh, you done fucked up now! Is 
Come on. <laughs> this is so easy. Yeah! Yeah, see, at the top right there, Dragonforged. See? It's Dragonforged now. So, I guess... Yeah. Cool. Give me your loot. Let's knock off all its horns while we're at it. Give me your loot! Yeah! Right. So, what did everyone get? Undyne got a dragon scale, okay. Yeah, I didn't make that, by the way. This is somebody else's pawn, which I think is pretty cool that they called it Undyne. Right, I think I got all the loot. <laughs> so, if we quickly head back to Grand Soren. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does anybody have a fairy stone? Oh, we do. Cool. If we go back to Grand Soren, I will quickly show you what I mean when it gets Dragonforged. I'm not sure how items actually get Dragonforged. I guess if you just kill a dragon with them, they might. And if we quickly head over to the armor smith, or the armorer, shall we say. The blacksmith or whatever. You know what I meant. Potential spoilers up ahead, by the way. Look away now. I'm looking away to make sure you aren't spoiled. So if we head over here... We go to enhance. We can't. See, it's all completed. So... Let's enhance that shell while we're here, actually. Um, let's sell some stuff, too. Well, actually, no, I'm going to end it here, because so, you know what I mean when it says Dragonforge now, so, you know. That's what it means. They become awesome. So, thank you very much for watching, and their master walks all, you can't go wrong. And another one! <laughs> I'm in an area that's... Oh, wow. I believe this is a drake, I think. Not too sure. But it's a dragon, so let's murder it. Oh no, this is a worm, because of the uh, where the heart is, you see? Get staggered, you fool! No, you aren't. Just look at that health melt, man. Holy moly. And it's dead. <laughs> There's another worm's tear. Kaboom. These, these, these dragons, man. I remember when I first, um, when I was going through, when I was in the early stages of the game, if you've, when you, because there's a drake in Devilfire's uh, forest. Hang on, let me, let me show you on the map. If you go to, um, yeah, down over here towards the Shadow Fort in Devilfire's Grove, I think it is, yeah, that one. There's like a drake there, even in the early game, so. Doing this now feels very, very nice and, you know, stress relieving considering all the trouble they cause. Anyway. Another dragon down! Thank you for watching, and I shall see you if there's another one next time.